Hey everybody! Tonight it's Friday night and we're going to have a little uh, pizza fun tonight. So what we're going to do is make a Chef Boy RD pizza. Now they had these when we were kids and it's always been a favorite of mine and my husband loves them too. So since y'all know I live in the country, nobody delivers pizza out here. So we got to make our own pizza. So here we're going to get started. I got a pottery bowl here and it's hot. Because I put it in a microwave to get it warm. Because you want to set it in a warm place when you make make your dough up. And I don't really have a warm place because we got the air conditioner going, you know, because it's summertime. So, we're going to take, you get two packages of dough mix and you get a can of sauce. And that's all you get in the box now. So, you got to get your own cheese and everything now. They don't even give you the Parmesan cheese or anything anymore. Okay, so what you're going to do is just empty both of these packages into your bowl. I think these scissors are a little bit dull. Might have to sharpen them. Oh, there they go. All right, we're going to put both mixes into the bowl. And then we're going to add one and one-third cups of warm water. Put that in there because it's got yeast in it. Now we want to activate that yeast. So just stir it with a fork. And then we're going to, when we get this mixed up, we're going to put a little bit of, about a tablespoon of oil, 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 however y'all say it. Everybody says that differently. I just say oil sometimes. Sometimes I say oil. Most of the time, oil. So I got some uh, Wesson oil here. So we're just gonna mix this up. Then I'm gonna drizzle that over it, and then you're gonna let this set in this warm bowl for five minutes. And that way it kind of rises up a little bit. Get your dough good. Make, make sure you got it all mixed up good. Here's, here it is. This one big ball now. All right, I'm gonna pour a little bit of this in my bowl and just, I'll probably turn this dough over a time or two. That way it won't stick to the side of the bowl. And all right. Now we're gonna set this over there and let this rise up just a little bit. It takes about five minutes. If you want thicker crust, you can leave it rise up a little bit more than that. And while it's rising, we're gonna get all our ingredients that we're gonna put on top of it together, okay? So hang on, y'all. Okay, it's been five minutes, so we're gonna take this uh, oil here, put a little bit on our hands, and then grab this dough out of here and I usually mix it up a little bit more because you know we just stirred it with a fork so I usually mix it up just a little bit more all right then we're going to cut this in half so you make it into like a little log like that and you can kind of just guess about half of it all right I'm going to put this one over here for my other pan, and we're going to put this one on this pan. I'll put a little bit more oil so I can work with it here. Now these are stones that I'm baking them on. I usually always bake my pizza on them. This is a pampered chef stone. So then you just want to spread your dough out. Just go round and round and round and spread that dough out. It really doesn't take that long to make these pizzas. Um, it takes the five minutes to rise them, and I got my oven preheating to 425. So I'm just going to press all this out like so. Okay. 
sometimes you can go around and make a little lip on it if you want, you know, so your sauce don't run off. good for quick and easy all right I'm just gonna wipe my hands on this towel here now this is gonna be my husband's pizza so I'm gonna put a can of mushrooms on there so I'm gonna drain them and I have this little uh, strainer right here so I'm just gonna stick it in this little cup that we already used to measure the water I'm just gonna empty them into that little thing right there and let that water drain off of them while I'm getting the other stuff ready. And that way these will be good and drained. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna take our sauce. I'm just gonna make one for y'all. The other one's just gonna be mine. It's just gonna have pepperoni and cheese on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour half of this sauce on here. Let me move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing here. All right, we just put the sauce around here like this. This is some good sauce, too, on these chef. These are Chef Boyardee pizzas. And they have been around. I don't know when they first come out. It would be interesting to know if somebody wants to look that up and put it in the comments. All right, there we go for that. Now... I don't have any fresh onion tonight, so I'm going to sprinkle some of this dehydrated onion on here. This is just a big, a big container from Costco, and it'll hydrate up in that sauce, so he'll get a little bit of onion flavor, because he likes onions on his. And I forgot and did not buy onions this week. He really likes onions, so I'm going to have to take this off and sprinkle them a little bit more. All right. Now I'm going to put actually a little bit of garlic. This is garlic powder. I'm going to put a little garlic powder on his, too. Make him think it's Italian tonight. All right. Now, I usually put the mushrooms next. So here they are, and they're drained. So we'll just put them around through here. I just I just keep these little cans of mushrooms. He likes them on his pizza. All right. Now some cheese. Got two packs of cheese here because we like a lot of cheese. All right, I'm going to pull this out here. and Now, I always put the pepperoni on top because I like the pepperoni to kind of crisp up some. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to put all this cheese on here. I'm going to give him a lot of cheese tonight. We got two packs here, so each piece is going to get their own. You know, they're always real chinksy on the cheese when you go to the restaurant. But I like a lot of cheese on my pizza. There you go. Now we're going to put some uh, pepperonis. i got a pack of pepperoni here. And we're just going to put the pepperoni on. I don't want to get this video too long. But then we're going to bake this 12 minutes. And then I'll rotate the pans around. Because I'm going to put them both in the oven at the same time. And then I cook them about 10 or 12 minutes longer. You just kind of have to watch it. You know, on the count of whatever your oven does. All right, I'm going to finish putting these on and get the other one made. All right, I forgot to show you all on the other pizza. Sometimes if you got some Parmesan cheese, sprinkle that on there. That makes it good, too. I forgot that on the other one. I'll have to go back and add a little bit. But I usually put it on before I put the other cheese on. I want to show y'all. Now this one's mine right here. This oblong one. It's going to be pepperoni and cheese. Okay, I ended up cooking it about 10 minutes on uh, one rack. And then I switched the 
switch the pizzas and put the bottom one on top and the top one on the bottom. And here you have it. Look at that one. Can y'all see that? All right, we're about to cut this and eat it. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.